Ace your speech, mastering the art of introductions and conclusions. Hello there, language learners. Today, we're going to dive into a crucial aspect of public speaking and presentations, practicing your introduction and conclusion. These bookends to your speech or presentation are vital, as they set the tone and neatly wrap up your ideas, respectively. So, let's jump in. First impressions matter, and your speech's introduction is your audience's first impression of you and your topic. An effective introduction grabs the listener's attention, sets the tone for the rest of the presentation, and outlines what they can expect to hear. To ensure your introduction hits these marks, you need to practice. When you rehearse your introduction, focus on your speech speed, tone of voice, and body language. Ensure that you deliver your introduction clearly and confidently. Practice it until you can deliver it naturally, making sure to grab your audience's attention from the get-go. Just as the introduction is vital, the conclusion of your speech is equally important. It's your chance to reinforce your main points, leave a lasting impression, and prompt your audience to think or act. Like the introduction, you should rehearse your conclusion thoroughly. When practicing your conclusion, aim for a clear and concise summary of your main points, and if appropriate, a call to action. Strive for a delivery that is strong and confident. Practice will ensure that you leave your audience with a clear takeaway message, wrapping up your presentation neatly and effectively. You may wonder, why should I put so much emphasis on rehearsing these two sections? The answer is simple. Your introduction sets the stage, and your conclusion wraps up your presentation. Both are crucial for creating an impactful speech. When you practice these sections, you're not only improving your delivery, but you're also gaining confidence, familiarizing yourself with your material, and becoming more comfortable with public speaking. Remember, practice doesn't make perfect if you're repeatedly practicing in the wrong way. Always strive for quality practice sessions. And that's a wrap on our session on practicing your introduction and conclusion. Remember, a powerful start and end to your speech can make all the difference. Keep practicing, stay confident, and you'll be acing your presentations in no time. Hope this video was helpful, and see you next time.